welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. This is a long-awaited video that I've been waiting for and I almost postponed it. I was like, since the DMV suspended driving tests, why would I do this? I'm not going to be able to drive for another two weeks or however long it ends up being. But I was like, you know what? I'm still going to do it because I'll eventually drive this car so now I'll just be extra prepared even while I have my permit. With all that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be decorating and organizing this car. This is my mom's car that she's passing down to me and Allie. So we will drive this baby. This is a Hyundai Tucson. The white exterior and the grand interior. I don't, that's really ugly back there. It's just like random stuff for moving in the garage. So don't pay attention to that. I literally keep forgetting the verse of the day. So I'm interrupting the intro to bring it to you guys here. Anyways, I'm very excited about this. I bought a whole bunch of stuff at Target. I went and shopped and I bought a couple things on Amazon. So before I get into this and actually start organizing everything, I'll show you guys what I got. Some people might be like in agreement with me that I need all this stuff to be prepared and other people are gonna look at me like I'm psychotic because this is a little obnoxious and extra, but whenever I'm able to drive my friends around or it's just me and Allie in the car, whatever the deal is, I want people to know that they're like super safe in my car and if anything, literally at all, it's so hot in here, if anything ever goes wrong, I actually have all that they would ever need starting off i have this big old basket right here of stuff this is filled with um i don't really know i put this together a couple days ago i'll just take it apart even though i really stuffed things in here so i have a towel a blanket a pair of sweatpants sports bra socks sunglasses a shirt underwear and two sweatshirts because i always am going places and i'm like i'm freezing cold i need a sweatshirt or like i've been to the beach multiple times this summer and i'm like i literally forgot a towel if i want to go eat dinner i don't know just like a bunch of scenarios run through my head where i'm like i might need that you just you never really know the next thing i'm gonna show you guys i literally brought the vacuum in here too because i'm gonna clean it all out is this whole thing of like emergency stuff that i'm going to organize so in the back of this car already there is a first aid kit that came with the car from hyundai and there's this emergency pack that my mom has always had in here it's like random stuff actually i'm gonna go back and grab it or i'll just go back and show you guys it's this thing we had this for as long as i can remember i think it's just like a bunch of necessities you might need if you ever were stranded so this is like all the fun stuff this i will also put in the back of my car and this thing i'm going to put in the middle console my mom already has some random things in here like hair ties lens wipes for your glasses mask oh and this thing this is really handy it is one of those tools you can use to break the window if your car is like stuck underwater or if you are in an accident i don't know and then this thing can free you and cut your seat belt if you are ever in a situation where you would need to do that for any reason so i will be keeping this in here i think this is very useful and helpful i think she just got it off amazon not gonna lie mom not the most organized i've ever seen but we're gonna clean it up and i just want to put everything inside of here so i just have one bag in there and there's not stuff floating around i'm literally burning up it's so hot but my neighbor is back there and she's gonna be able to hear me if i open the door so in this video and that'd be really awkward so anyways like i'm sweating no all right i'm sorry that i keep just rambling on so this is from sony kashik i'm gonna put all this stuff in here i have some snacks also have another bit i'm gonna put this in with waters because i always get thirsty in the car and i would just like that nah, if i didn't have water so i have some boom chicka pop my favorite that's it bars and i'm gonna grab some things from inside too to just fill up the snack bin that way if i'm ever out i don't have to go and spend extra money on stuff that i just have with me already also got these auto sticks these are air fresheners and i was waiting between these and the little trees and i ended up getting this because i feel like it's a little more aesthetically pleasing 
because the trees are a bright color and these smell so good. There's actually none in here. I took them all out and they're just floating in the box, but I can still smell it. And the scent is vanilla bean. It smells amazing and it lasts like 90 days. These are from the car department area aisle. At Target, some good old Carmex. Again, you might be like, why do you need all this? I'm just a freak. And this is like the episode of Close CD from Chloe Kardashian when she's like describing her car and all the stuff that she needs. I have this flashlight if I'm ever in an emergency. Also, I have jumper cables back there too if the car battery were to die. Hand sanitizer, this is from Raw Sugar Living. Tampons, I literally am not gonna need this whole box in here though because that would fill the entire bag. I'll just take some out. Tissues, of course, this mini native deodorant. It's so tiny compared to the original one and it's my favorite scent, the coconut and vanilla. Mini lint roller because if I'm ever with the dog in the car, it's not cute if I'm wearing leggings and there's dog hair all over my leggings. I got these hair ties too. Wipes if I spill something, which is bound to happen. Sunscreen. I actually got this idea from the Close CD Khloe Kardashian thing because she was talking about how when you drive, the sunlight hits your hands and your hands and your neck always show your age and the sunscreen will prevent aging. So this is from Sunbum, another one of my favorite brands. Of course, gum. I bought the um, six pack of this a couple weeks ago and I'm not even kidding. I went through six packs of gum in like three days. I chew gum like it's nobody's business. It is so shocking. Like I eat so many pieces of gum a day. So I'm trying to cut back on that and of course how to have some in my car. This is dry shampoo if I'm ever looking greasy that's all that i bought at target also i have aquaphor in here i don't know why because i already have the carmex i guess if my hands are ever feeling dry whatever the deal is two things off of amazon that i think will be very practical for me first of all these car hooks i'm going to take them out of the packaging i originally saw these on pinterest because i was looking up like i don't know if you guys have seen those tiktoks or it's like five amazon essentials for your kitchen or whatever it is i found one about cars and i just thought these were super genius because i'm always throwing my bags basically you just hook it to your headrest just like that and you can hang your bags right on here. I wish I had a bag with me so I could show you. This is actually moving around a lot on here. Maybe if I, I probably have to do something to really get it in there, but I just think this is cute and practical. And these were like, I don't know, not very expensive. This is annoying, but I feel like it's really cute. And like I said, very practical. So I got two of those. I can hang both right here. So whenever I get in the car, honestly, I should probably hook it on this seat because then you have to reach your hand all the way around. I'll figure that out later. Then I ordered this trash can. This kind of looks like a purse, but basically, Basically, it comes with these little bags and you can hook it with this thing right around this other headrest and bam, you have a trash can. I just know this will be so helpful. So that's everything. That was quite the lengthy car accessory haul, but my next um, job here is to clean everything out. I'm really doing my mom quite the service here because I'm cleaning out her car for her and I won't even be driving in it for the next two weeks. She's gonna be all set for whatever she needs if anything's gonna go wrong. But I'm going to clean off the surfaces in the car and vacuum all around with the Dyson. <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, I'm in here and I'm in the middle of cleaning everything out and I realized I forgot to tell you guys about four important things while I was cleaning, it just came to my mind. First of all, I have this taser. I just wanted to mention this because I know it's like important to have safety things and everything. This car actually has an SOS button on the rear view mirror, which I think is amazing. Also, another thing is charger. I personally did not like put an extra charger in this car because it already has a wireless charger here. Third thing I realized I didn't cover is the list of phone numbers. I'm going to 
there's construction out there and the people are really loud i am going to put together a list of important phone numbers of like my family members and all my close friends just in case i'm ever without my phone or i forget it or my phone dies even though this car has a wireless charger it's just another thing that i want to do to be prepared because i'm not my phone is going off it's literally my family in the group chat again <laughs> and one more thing i'm going to put tums and advil in the little emergency bag too everything is all done i thought this would take a lot longer in my head for some reason but it really did not take a lot of time which is good so i'm gonna show you guys everything i'm so excited this makes me even more sad that the dmv stopped doing behind the wheel tests but it gets me excited for when i am able to take the test also the air freshener is smelling divine so here we go when you open up the car come to the middle console i have this up i didn't want to mess with some of my mom's things because this is still her car until i get my license also i left coins in there for like parking meters and stuff she has her lip gloss the window breaker thing that's hers in there and then of course i have a mask this one has little like polar bear christmas stuff on it and then you guys saw everything that i put into this bag this is nice and clean back here i put up these bag holders i really do think these will come in handy a lot and the trash can i've literally already made use of it and i put the extra bags in the bottom and last but not least the trunk there's stuff all over because the vacuum died but i'm going to just take care of that later today first of all you guys saw everything that i have in here this big old emergency pack honestly i should probably look in here because i don't even really know what's inside and lastly i have this bin which has snacks i put graham crackers and some Velveeta bars in there along with what i already had first aid kit your shoes the dog stuff like the leash and the dog seat belt another bag just in case i like a swimsuit or something gets wet brush and the jumper cables are down there so that is all all right that is all i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and stay tuned for the rest of vlogmas and hopefully a vlog at some point of when i'm able to go take my behind the wheel test and then i can film fun things like drive with me is playlist videos all that you know it's coming so my hair is looking crazy because i was sweating but i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you soon in the next day of vlogmas bye guys Mwah.